Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. And this evening's video is going to be on today's pieces that I found, today's finds. Um, again, still not a lot out there. Um, I went to three or four different places and um, I, I did come across a load of Matchbox, but it was all stuff that I've either already got. It's not even the, um, the newer wave, so to speak. So that was a bit disappointing, uh, but I did find a couple of um, Hot Wheels that I have been after, um, which is pretty cool. Still can't find the Zonda R, um, and also I've, I'm going to be taking a look at something from Jada at the end of the video. Um, but like I said, it's just it said that we're all having it at the moment. There really is not a lot. I've got cars coming in the mail uh, in the post, but unfortunately we got we got postal. We've had postal strikes recently. We've now got rail strikes, so the post, what I'm hoping, well, what I've sent away for, what I've bought, I should say, online, um, could be any time. I got an email the other day saying the pieces that I've bought, and this is the mini GT stuff I'm expecting, could take up to another 12, could take up to 12 days, but hopefully they'll be here this week. Um, and also, I still can't finish my restoration off, as it is still rubbishy weather i'm just waiting to give it its final coat but anyway that's neither here nor there let's get straight into so let's just move that to one side so we have got a bit of zoom this really cool lancia delta integrale in what i thought was black but it's actually a really cool dark metallic green with the white interior i do like this casting i have the white version um, with all the different sort of livery rally stickers, I suppose you could say, with the white 10 spokes. This has got them, um, I forget what these are called now, disc, um, disc wheels, but it is pretty cool. So we'll do the usual and we'll get straight into it. And there it is. So let's get my camera down a bit more. There we go. So yeah, I do like this. I prefer this to the white. The white was nice. Um, I didn't bring the white one up to compare it, but the white is nice, but I do like this metallic green. And again, this will be probably a candidate for a wheel swap in the future. I'm just trying to look on the front. It is all, the grill is done in black and the lights are tamping in quite nicely, just that it's a dark color. So this is pretty cool. Like I said, this was one that if I'd seen it, I was, I was happy to get and I managed to find it. So that is pretty cool. So that is the first piece. And then this one as well, this is just the uh, Toyota Supra. I do like this casting. And again, I managed to find it. So that is pretty cool. And there it is in all its redness with these black sort of five spokes. Very, very cool. Very nicely done with the front tamper in quite nice. And the rear tamp, oh no, rear, that's a, that's a, uh, rear's not tamping in. Now this car, even though I like it, I am going to, I think this could possibly be my next candidate for a, a full custom. But I'm gonna obviously I hold off for the minute because I've got some plans for this. Um, this is why I've been after this casting. But like I said, I'm gonna hold off for the minute because like I've said, we haven't got the weather at the moment here where I live in the United Kingdom. But that is a cool piece nonetheless. And I do like it like this. I may even try and pick another one up just to keep it in one standard and have one that I want to do my own thing with. So pretty cool. So that was the only two pieces of Hot Wheels I picked up today. Now, this is quite interesting. So let's pull the camera up a little bit. Now, I've walked past these quite a few times. This is not really castings that I collect. Or should I say, this, say this is not the scale what I'm really interested in. Um, they're a little bit like the old micro machines. And if you any of you lot can remember, I expect you can. I was, uh, you know, they were sort of big in the 80s. Micro machines. They were sort of plastic. I think they were plastic bodies, metal bases. I can't remember who made them now. It might be Mattel. I forget. But uh, anyway, this is from Jada Toys, and it's known as the. I think it says Nano Hollywood Rides. Um, and they had lots of choice there. They had, um, obviously, you've got, as you can see, you've got Brian's Ford Escort, which is the reason why I bought this pack. And you've got um, Brian's Toyota Supra. And then, obviously, you've got Dom's um, Dodge Charger Daytona. 
but you also had um, the other pack had Dom's um, 70 Dodge Charger and it had Brian's pickup truck so it basically had all the all the cars from the well say all the cars from the first film these obviously aren't from the first film that one as far as I'm aware is obviously from the first film they also had two or three different sorts of Batmobiles they had the they had the um, uh, what was it? What was he called again? I don't remember now. The Penguin Mobile, the Penguin's car. They were, and, and, and they had some sort of back motorcycle. And um, they were very, you know, these are very detailed little cars. They also do the Transformers, old and new, old Optimus, new Optimus Prime. Um, and they also do, what did they do? The Back to the Future cars. I would be quite interested in the future to possibly pick up um, the Batmobile cars only because. One of the one of the back, some of the one of the Joker's car, I think it was. I can't remember now, but it was just so well detailed. But anyway, I'll see because, like I said, this is something different, but not a lot on the back. So, but anyway, they are licensed vehicles. We are going to take a closer look. So, let's see if we can open these up. And like I said, this is not really casting size that I'm into. My nowadays, what I'm, I, I technically collect now is just 164 scale or three inch scale, um, and I collect 143rd scale. Um, but I've stopped with the 118th now. But anyway, so let's take a look at the first one as it's fell out, and straight away it is really quite weighty so as you can see it is all die cast the wings die cast the base is die cast which i'm just checking to see if it is yeah hang on two seconds no I, I do believe it's plastic base but it is really quite it's really quite you can feel it it's like the best way to to, to sort of compare the weight it's almost like having a fishing weight in your hand they are really quite substantially made. But as you can see, it has got all the decos and you've got the bonnet vents there and the lights are done in the front and then the rear lights are done too. And so you see Toyota Super, Jada Toys, Inc. Uh, yeah. But yeah, and obviously they do roll, but they are minute. So that's the Supra. And then the next one is the Dom's Dodge Charger Daytona. And again, in this awesome candy apple red. And the windows is, are actually part of the body, so they haven't got separate windows. And again, the front, as you can see, it's got the bonnet clips there. You've got the lights done the front. Even the windscreen wipers are done, which is a pretty cool little touch and the rear lights done and you've got some little little exhaust pipes so that is very very cool for something so small it is pretty cool and like i said i've walked past these cars several times they're not cheap it was 10 pounds for these this three little three set but i just thought oh why not give it a go so i picked them up and like i said they're not bad like i said i, I may pick up the bat set but this is the main main one I wanted, as I'm I'm a big Ford fan, and I do like what I call the European Fords. So this is obviously Brian's um, Ford Escort, but it is obviously um, I think this is possibly a, a 1970s Ford Escort Mark One. But again, the spots done in silver, the main lights done in silver, the bumpers are done in silver, and I think the real light, rear lights have got a little bit of silver says Ford Escort there but again not bad for something that is so small and these are minute I mean to give you an example there's a Hot Wheels they are absolutely minute but anyway something a bit different let's stick them there like that um, like I said, not my usual thing. Not, I don't think it's something I'm going to go mad over collecting them all. I just sort of wanted to see it out of curiosity. And like I said, I may get the bat set 
just for giggles, you know. Um, but like I said, I, I tend to mainly stick to 164th now, or three inch scale if you want to call it that, uh, which is more toy cars, and I do get the odd 143rd. But with that, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more unboxings, uh, vintage pieces, wheel swaps, customs, and all that good stuff to come. And with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.